So the recent attack on former President Kenyatta's Northland land has caused a stir with reports emerging that it may have been part of the government plan. According to emerging details, he may have known the Northland's feet. Hello and welcome to Kenyan Secrets. If you are new to the channel, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be able to watch our uploaded videos. According to sources, the National Assembly Majority Leader Kimani had previously warned that the government would invade the land of those who allegedly support the Azimon demonstration. However, it's unclear at this point whether the attack on Kenyatta's property was a result of this warning or if there's any connection between the two events. The attack on the former president's property raises concern about the rule of law and government accountability. If the reports about the threat and the subsequent attack on Kenyatta's land are true, it would suggest that the government is willing to take drastic and illegal action to silence dissent. This could have a chilling effect on free speech and peaceful assembly, which are essential components of any democracy. It is imperative that the government conducts a thorough and transparent investigation into the attack of Kenyatta's property. This investigation should aim to identify those responsible for the attack and hold them accountable for their action. The government should make it clear that any attempt to stifle free speech or peaceful assembly will not be tolerated. Other news, details written on title to Darila displayed at Nordland's farm during his visit. Kenyans and politicians have continued to react after Monday's event where goons invaded a property belonging to Kenyatta's family at Nordland. Properties of unknown value were damaged and livestock stolen. Azimo leader Rila Odinga toured the farm where he witnessed the destruction that took place in the area. Rila Odinga condemned the Agwe. He accused the government of planning and penetrating the evil deed. The former Prime Minister said that the absence of police officers during the raid raises a lot of questions, adding that the said investigation by the Inspector General is just a scam. While addressing the media, Rila Odinga said that the perpetrators had planned this raid for a long time, seeing that they had even prepared mock title deeds. Rila Odinga went ahead to display one of the title deeds that the goons who were subdividing the land had. On the free face of the mock title deed, it was written Nordland Settlement Scheme as the heading. Below the heading, there was a barcode for scanning, a logo, and the ballot number. The title deed was also bearing the name of the ownership certificate. Below that, there were personal details left in a blank space where the holder of the certificate is expected to fill their details. The mock certificate also bears a stamp as it appears. Finally, angry Kenyans gang up against Kimani. New details revealed he may have known yesterday attack fit. So after Monday's attack, it has been concluded that the National Assembly Majority Leader Kimani is the mastermind of the hooliganism that happened at Northland City and the Spectre EA. This is according to his recent attack and abuses on the former retired President Kenyatta in public gatherings. According to a shared video clip, Kimani is seen telling the public that the government will soon invade and destroy Kenyatta's property because of sponsoring Azimo protests. It is however not clear if Kimani's remarks might be the outcome of the attack on Kenyatta's property or if there is any connection between the two events. Hope you enjoyed the video and please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell.